Welcome everyone, this is my guide. This is how to do the Fortify Restoration Loop in Skyrim. You can see my character right now has nothing on. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get into first person view. Now if you don't know what the loop is, it's a way to make incredibly powerful Fortify Enchanting Potions and Fortify Smithing Potions. So real quick, you do need a couple things in addition to the ingredients to make potions. You need um, pieces of armor that fortify alchemy. And you also need perk points in alchemy. So if we go all the way over to alchemy, and if we actually go past it, we're going to go right here. You can see I have 100 in alchemy. You need level 30 in alchemy. You need two perk points into alchemist, which is making my potions 40% more powerful. And if we go over here, you need one point in physician and one point in benefactor. And you can pause the screen if you want to read what these perks do. Um, these are what you need to do this loop. So let's go ahead. Let's back out of here. And like I said, the next thing you're going to need is fortify alchemy on pieces of armor you may have found in dungeons. And hopefully in exploring the game, you found those pieces. If you don't, I'm going to show you how to make it your own. So real quick, we're going to run out to Whiterun and go to the forge. Okay, so here we are out in Whiterun. People are going to make comments about us being time, naked. I get dressed before leaving the house. Shut up. So we're going to go to the forge, and there's four pieces of armor that you can put fortify, um, fortify alchemy on. And the first of that is going to be bracers. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make ourselves a pair of iron gauntlets. Now we could make an iron helmet. If I just scroll down here, you can see the dragonborn helmet. I don't need that because I have a circlet that I found in a dungeon, and I'm going to put the enchantment on that circlet. So the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a necklace and a ring. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to make a gold diamond necklace with one flawless diamond and some gold ingots. And I'm going to make a gold diamond ring. Supposedly, like gold diamond rings, gold emerald rings, supposedly they work better than just gold rings. I don't know if that's true, but it's just what I'm doing. So there we go, I made that. So now let's go ahead and let's put our stuff on. Gold diamond necklace, gold diamond ring, golden emerald circlet, and some gauntlets. So next thing, I'm going to meet you in Dragon's Reach because we need to enchant all this equipment with Fortify Alchemy. Here we are in Dragon's Reach, and uh, we're going to need Grand Soul Gems to enchant the um, the armor we just made. But real quick, let's talk to Ferengar. You might want to get dressed. Take a look. Yeah, everyone's going to give a shit right now for not being dressed. Don't worry about it, it doesn't affect anything. If you go to Miscellaneous, you can see he will sell Grand Soul Gems. So if you don't have any, that's what you, uh, you, know, if you can do. You should join the Mages College. Let me use the Enchanter, dude. Yeah, just stand behind me, that's cool. Alright, so we're going to go to our items. We're going to enchant our necklace with Fortify Alchemy. So we're just going to scroll down to that. Fortify Alchemy. Creative potions are 25% more powerful. Now, if you don't use Grand Soul Gems, um, it's not going to be as strong. It'll be like 16 or 12% powerful. So real quickly, let's just use a Grand Soul Gem, as you can hear a plane taking off in the background. Craft that. Now we're going to do the same with our ring. Make me scroll all the way to Fortify Alchemy again. 25%. That's what I want. Fortify Alchemy, put it on the, on the circlet, and use a Grand Soul Gem, 25%, that is what we want. Use the Grand Soul Gem. Who's humming in the background of the game? That's definitely in the game, that's definitely not here. I don't know if you guys heard that, I definitely heard someone humming in the background. Okay, and the gauntlet's 25%. Awesome. So we're done with uh, enchantments for now. Now we're actually going to do the loop. Maybe it was Ferengar that was humming. Alright. So we're going to make Fortify Restoration Potions, and we're going to have 60 seconds um, to basically do the loop, and I'll explain everything. Show you what to do. So real quick, use the Alchemy Lab. And like I said, we're going to make a Fortify Restoration Potion. So we need a Basian, a Basi, a Basi Cant, whatever, long fins. Uh, Ciro Dillic Spade Tales, and Salt Pile. You can see that's going to make our restoration spells 
84% stronger. So let's go ahead and craft it. And real quickly, we're going to quit alchemy. Now this is a vital step. So we go to items, we go to our apparel. You can see our creative potion is 25% more powerful. Take this stuff off. Go to your potions. Um, drink the potion. And now put your apparel back on. All of a sudden it jumped up to 46. See that? 46. So again, let's go to alchemy. Let's go to fortify restoration. Let's make another potion. You can see restoration spells are 208% stronger. Let's craft the potion. Let's quit alchemy. And again, we're just going to repeat. We're going to go into items. We're going to go to apparel. We're going to take our stuff off. We're going to eat. We're going to eat the potion. Potion. Oh, it would help if I click potions. Now, if we put our apparel back on, you can see it's up to 79% more powerful. So we're going to go back to alchemy. We're going to go ahead, we're going to make another Fortify Restoration Potion. And by the way, this will level up your alchemy skill if you're... If you are if you need to level it up, this will level it up like crazy. I'm already level 100 and I'm not going for legendary skills, so that's why mine's not leveling up. So we're going to make another potion. This time it's 561% stronger. Let's go ahead and craft that. Let's quit. And let's go to items. Let's take our stuff off. You have to take your stuff off. If you don't take your stuff off, it will not work. So let's go to potions. And you can see I made two um, because of a certain, I think it was collecting 30 red or crimson nurn roots. Don't worry about it. Just eat the one potion. Put our equipment back on. You can see now our stuff is 165% more powerful. So again, it's just rinse and repeat. So yeah, the fact that I'm getting double potions, don't worry about it. So again, I'm going to make three more. I'm just going to do it all the way. You can see we're up to 2,000% stronger for 60 seconds. Maybe I won't do every one. Next time, you might want to get... Shut up! Yeah, like I said, everyone's going to give you shit about uh, not getting dressed. But this is the easiest way to make sure you don't have something on preventing you from doing this loop. Go to the potions... We're going to go to this one right here, put our apparel back on, 554% more powerful. So I think we'll do this once more, fortify restoration, 21,565% stronger. You probably don't need to go this crazy, but it's a video so let's just do it. I don't think I've actually ever done this powerful before. So let's go ahead. Let's take our equipment off. Let's drink drink the potion. Restoration spells almost 3900. Oh, that was the that was the other one. Oh well, that's You know what? Screw it. Drink it. Creative potions are almost 10,000% more powerful. Yeah. So, you tried mercenary work. It might suit you. We're going to actually just do it right here. Let's just use the alchemy table again. And with these potions, we're going to make some other... With this enchantment, we're going to make some potions. And I want to do fortify enchanting. Hey, Ravenclaw, snowberries, spriggan sap. For 30 seconds, your items are 4,108% stronger. So I'm going to make two of these. I just want to show you. Eh, I'm going to get another one. I just wanted to show you a couple things. And if we go to Fortify Smithing, uh, I need to clear, 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 clear. Blister Wart, Glowing Mushrooms, 16,000% better. But if we go to Ingredients and we put a Snowberry in there, scroll all the way down to Snowberry. Snowberries, there we go. Potion of Resist Shock. So you can resist shock, or you can make almost 17,000% better armor. So let's go ahead. Let's craft that. And another one for good measure. Good measure, I should say. Alright, so we're all done with that. So now what we need is we need some armor to um, enchant. So real quick, I'm going to run to the uh, forge. I'm going to make a couple pieces of dragon armor. And I'll be back. I missed the soldier's life. 
when I hold my daughter in my arms. I know I made the right choice. Trying to make a video, dude. So I'm gonna go make some armor and I'll be back here. Um, actually, I'll meet you at the forge. Okay, let's go ahead and smith ourselves some armor. And I'm actually gonna do two things real quick. I'm gonna take a potion first, and then I'm gonna take one after, and we're gonna see how crazy we can get this. Potion of Resist Shock. Let's go ahead and make some dragon armor. I think I have everything I need. Dragon scale. Okay, so it doesn't work beforehand. Okay, dragon scale armor. And dragon scale boots. Okay, so we got those two pieces of armor. Put on some clothes, you damn Shut up. So now if we go to items. Now we use our potion. What we want to do is we want to use the workbench. I can make my dragon scale armor have 10,000 armor points if you look at that. So we'll improve that. And our dragon scale boots are going to go from 32 armor to 5,206. That is what this crazy, crazy resist uh, shock potion does. Um, if you have weapons, you can actually do the same for weapons. So now we have these. Oh, what we got here? Eh, I'll take a glass sword. Give me one second. Okay, so I bought refined malachite off of uh, Adrian Evanici, whatever her name is. So if we just go ahead and we use our last potion, because remember this is just demonstration, potion of resist shock. Let's see what we can do to our glass sword here. So glass sword, which has 19,000 base damage, yeah, 308 damage. Legendary equipment, it's great. So now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the other um, potion that we made, the Fortify Enchanting Potion, and I'll be back once I head to Dragon's Reach. So here we are back in Dragon's Reach. We're going to use the Arcane Enchanter. Now we have to plan what we're going to enchant because the Fortify Enchanting Potion only lasts for 30 seconds, and that's about enough time to enchant two pieces of armor or weapons. So let's look at the Dragon Scale Armor. Let's see what enchantments are available. I think I'm going to do Fortify Carry Weight on my boots. Or maybe Fortify Archery. Let's see here. I'm going to Fortify Light Armor. I'm going to Fortify Smithing. I can Fortify Stamina. Let's, let's do Stamina. And let's see, for the boots, I think we're going to do Carry Weight. Uh, fortify Carry Weight, where are you? I can do Pickpocket. I can do One-Handed. Could do Carry Weight. Let's do, um... Yeah, let's do, let's do one hand. No, let's do carry weight. Okay. So, actually, no, don't quit enchanting. Black soul gems. You're going to need two grand soul gems. Again, you can probably get them off Ferengar if you don't have them. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to eat a potion. And I'm going to use it. Remember, we have 30 seconds, and this one can flip you up. So we're going to go... Here, we're going to go all the way down to Fortify Stamina, which is, of course, alphabetically near the bottom. So let's go Stamina, 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 Fortify Stamina, 20,000 points, Black Soul Gem, boom. Item, Dragon Scale Boots, Fortify Carry Weight, Soul Gem, Black Soul Gem, and you can see it already wore off. So yeah, you got to be quick. So, I have three of them, so once again, we'll go to items, we will go to potions, potion of fortify enchanting, exit out, immediately use. Item, dragon scale boots, enchantment, fortify carry weight, you have to plan it out. You gotta make a bunch of them and you have to plan it out. There we go, 15,602 is our carry weight. And just because I have it, let's, let's take a look now. I got a third one, I'll use it. So we look at items, apparel. Increases your stamina by 20,000, almost 21,000. Increases your carry weight by almost 16,000. You never have to worry about that again. And because I have the one potion, let's just do it real quick. Let's go to this glass sword that we got. 
Enchantment. Fire damage. 10,000 fire damage points. The Black Star, which is a Black Soul Gem. So you can see how crazy that is. Or can you? Let's find us some enemies. Yeah. Oh, hi. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute to talk about your Daedric Lord? <laughs> Let's go find someone else. So yeah, you can make pretty powerful stuff using this loop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just ask, feel free to ask me. Leave any comments, and I'll see you guys later.